Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Star Wars 25th Anniversary Review, and this one's on R2-D2. Well, the latest version that there is, but yeah. So, on the front of the box here, you have the LEGO Star Wars logo and the new border of which, or new greepling border for the 25th Anniversary set. And age recommendation is 10 and up, set number 75379 has... 1,050 pieces, and picture of R2-D2 on Tatooine, and then also minifig R2-D2, and 25th anniversary logo, and exclusive minifigure Darth Malak, of course. And then on the back side of the box, I have just R2-D2 in a different position on either a Star Destroyer or the Death Star, and also, how you can attach different things to him and move his head a bit, and also shows the display plaque as well, but yeah. And the same logos, of course. And on to the manual. Let's see. The CGI rendering, like we've been seeing for some time, quite some time, of course. Transition from plastic bags to paper bags and add for the builder app. Then add for the 25th anniversary saying on the uh, lego.com website and add for rebuild the world. But on the back side is uh, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. And I went to three pages. And then showing both the set and in film version of R2D2, of course. And, that, and then the last building steps. But first of all, for the mini figs, or for the 25th anniversary fig of Darth Malak, which if you know much about this character, which is actually from the kind of early video game called, uh, what's it called? Uh, called Knights of the Old Republic, yeah. It's, uh, which might have a bit of relation to uh, Knight to the Old Republic, okay, which, but not sure about that. But, although, although that game, which did appear on some of the earlier uh, consoles and such, like original Xbox kind of era, but was reissued on the Switch, but that was a whole nother topic. But, yeah. but however, for the minifig of which, which for the face printing and leg pr and torso print leg printing, uh, which really good for how it is, and of course wielding the red lightsaber and as for the uh, lower jaw kind of piece, which quite well done and also well captures the appearance of Darth Malak quite well. And also if I raise it up, oh whoops. Okay, so now on to the face printing underneath which does have a slight bit of that on the mouth part. And also some quite good back head printing for that. And of course this jaw piece, which kind of reminiscent of Darth Malak that was around for the Old Republic sets in 2012. Well, since there's, you know, there might be a little relation to that, but yeah. And then also have the black cape piece, which is actually kind of the Thick material cape piece. Not sure why that is, but whatever. And also some kind of good back torso printing as well. But yeah. Oh. Well. And then, and also as for the stand of which, like we had with fives in the Tantive Four uh, hallway set is. Does have the large plate 
uh, with, with the 25th anniversary logo on there. And like I said in that review, it is also kind of the same as the ones that came in the uh, 20th anniversary sets, but however, uh, is actually one uh, plate piece when that one was, was three. And on one side of which has enough room to stick a, a 2x4 plate onto to stick to the other one of it and to the 20th anniversary of the exhibit, which so kind of keeping with tradition there. And that's about it with him. But also the only other minifig is R2D2, which, well, this figure, which is uh, not too different than how he is for that, but actually also with the back doors and printing, same that came in the uh, Yavin 4 set last year. So, but this is which quite cheaper way to get him, but, and of course, but although for the fig in general, besides for that, same one that came in so many sets over the years, but I was getting a little bit repetitive, but whatever. And then, like most buildable character sets, I would get, and also most UCS sets, is get the display plaque on him. But however, in this case of which, how are the uh, plaque uh, tile piece of which? Is where instead of like stinker, it, it's actually printed on, but also not like a full plate like the larger UCS sets tend to have. And also has on a couple of hinge type or ratcheted type hinge plates on there. And then a couple jumpers, but to fit your R2D2 mini fig onto. But however, it's four studs to that, so it's on there nice securely, which nice to see there. And then back side of which just expose studs or reverse studs, but yeah. And now on to our actual R2D2 in himself. Which as you can see it was quite unique, kind of interesting build to it, but also a much smaller downscale version of the previous UCS R2-D2s that we had in both 2012 and 2021. But why exactly now, in this size, no idea. Maybe to kind of fit in uh, with the current UCS uh, Chewbacca and uh, what rumor has it yet to come C-3PO as well, you know, kind of fit to scale to that. Maybe this could also mean that, that uh, could also see BB-8 and Dio from the sequel trilogy in the same size range. But maybe that's a kind of a minor thing. But, you know. So like, as for the lower leg part, see, I was using just the feet of which uh, quite cl closely resembling R2 quite well. Well, and also other astromech droids, of course. And of course, having the gold bar pieces in silver, and also these whip pieces in brown represent the wire bits on to there. And also like the tube parts of the previous UCS R2-D2s. And if I extend this leg out a bit, you can see a little bit, see good use of snot here, like all over, like in this kind of way, but also these uh, rounded bricks around it. And also, this like kind of snaps back to that, so actually, kind of snap back to that, so you can have, position it quite well for that. And then, as for the on the sides of the legs do have some quite good greepling and type detailing like all the way upwards especially with a couple vent bits right on to there as well of course and also well effective use of snot with these uh, rounded did a uh, jet or curved slopes onto there and a lot of snot going on on all all over the body part is 
but also unlike with the previous UCS ones have a lot of stickers on here. Unlike as for this uh, chest part that has quite good venting. The venting part quite well done for that and also this little bit in there and also these uh, signs, uh, slopes as well. And then this on the back side of which just a whole bunch of curved slopes as well. And same thing as the front part. And this side of which just a couple of vents as well. And as for these uh, little tile pieces can you can easily pop right off. And then also get these two other little accessory bits which, which are just the same plate or tiles but on brackets. The one of which has a hinge of which that holds the bucket handle piece that you can take and put on like so. And then this other side of which sort of has a similar kind of bit to it but have the kind of has just a little technique bit and a rod and a cone to represent the door opener part so you can mount that on as well and of course unlike with the previous uh, UCS R2D2s can like where we're actually on the 2012 one can like turn something on the back and it makes them open up for that and I and if I were to guess why just like pop on in and off on this one is mainly to fit the design and price point for that it's but and although still kind of optional for that or just kind of a case of work around the budget Now onto the head area, of which quite round, kind of good use of all this knot going on, and like with just plates stacked on plates, and also with curved slopes in as well, and also that eye part, of which kind of reminiscent of the uh, 2018 BB-8 uh, uh, head part, of which well the whole build kind of close to that, but but of course this which of RTD2 for that and. Also, these uh, small or minifigure BB-9E headpieces around as well. Well, the backside which has single sticker and single green tile piece. Just for that end, and of course can swivel all, all the way around as well. And then the top part of which is just a little dish piece with the. Uh, dark blue markings all around it, of course. And so now, uh, one of the features is if you can like swing him forward and also get the third leg part, which attaches to the plus rod hole in the center of the uh, venting uh, panel brick plate in there. So you can like, stick it on like so. And also have those like curved. Uh, underneath curved kind of plates for that which the actual feet also have so at least you can kind of move around quite well although it would be nice if there were wheels instead of that but maybe that would have been a little too much or a little too hard to add in so as for the bottom foot here there's also a lot of snot going on well do quite like the use of the so, uh, curved plates for that and also the uh, curved uh, plate in there as well and also good use of these uh, uh, larger jagged slopes for that to, and to represent give it a more uh, more finished kind of look to it and also the little venting part as well and then also these little technic bits on top acting as extra greebles and also good symmetry on both sides of it. So, oh, and also 
yet to mention for the accessories is also this little periscope kind of piece, which is just a hinge rod on a cone and also a little brick with a couple cheese slopes and a like triangular type half tile piece that you can just pop on to there and give him kind of a peek around kind of a bit to it. And so now as an extra little tip on what to do with the extra little uh, hinge kind of accessories is if you notice that the open space on the display plaque can actually just take them both and pop them onto it so that at least they're not like sitting around all over the place just to at least add a little extra texture to that so a little thing to, to say mention but yeah So now on to the final verdict. Okay, so overall, I think this is which a kind of good set for how it is like, like even though it may be kind of a little bit repetitive for, for it yet another UCS RGD2, but at least this kind of a smaller downscale version of that, like to obviously fit in with Chewbacca and. A C3PO coming up, but yeah, and also, and of course, although the main incentive for that is, of course, the 25th anniversary fig of Darth Malak for that, even though that could have come in in another set, but whatever. But however, but and although for the price uh, point of which, of which kind of good for how it is, like do get plenty of stuff going on, especially if you didn't want to bother with the previous UCS R2-D2s. And all, even while kind of lacking in like swivel features like the 2012 version did, and also with the center like not popping in and out also like those other two, well, at least it's still kind of workable, but yeah. And of course, and uh, what else? And well, and if you kind of missed out on those previous two of which, well, this is your fair enough opportunity for that. But yeah, and and of course, nice to have, kind of, but also a good, slightly cheaper option for that. And if you're to save a little bit of money for that, but yeah. And of course, the size of which kind of reminiscent of the uh, 2002 Technic one for that, but that would hold different time, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your LEGO Star Wars collection, I say definitely pick this up. And if you missed out on the previous R2-D2, UCS R2-D2s, then I'd say definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to, and if you've been playing or enjoy playing uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and are looking to get this set for the Darth Malak minifig, then also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.